The Spoonie Authors Network presents Much Excite, featuring Nicole Zelniker. Hello and welcome to Much Excite, a short video interview series from the Spoonie Authors Network. I'm Kat Gordon, author, editor, Barbie collector, and founder of the Spoonie Authors Network. With me today is Nicole Zalniker. Nicole, she, they, is an author of several books, including Until We Fall, which was a finalist for the Forward Indie Awards in LGBTQ plus adult fiction. Yay, Nicole! That makes me sound way cooler than I am. <laughs> Hello. You are so cool. Now tell me, Nicole, what is the exciting thing you'd like to share with us today? Yes, I would love to talk about Knee Brace Press, which is um, my literary magazine specifically devoted to uh, chronic conditions, disability, mental health, and neurodivergence. So we are non-paying right now, do not have a submission fee. Um, what are some other things that folks need to know? Um, we, we open for subs uh, four times a year. So uh march june september and december so we're we're coming up um on one and uh it's it's been really great we've had a lot of really cool um a lot of really cool stories a lot of really cool poems art pieces um and i'm i'm really excited to see what what folks send in this next round so so i i i have submitted to knee brace press i was extremely impressed with the editing i received for my short story um, I felt like that was like a gift. I had loved this little short story and, mm -hmm. and just felt like, okay, I can't seem to get it exactly where I want it. And sure. the editor now, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of my editor and, and they were so good. Did you work with Justin? Justin, I think that's who it was. Yeah. So um, good. Yeah, he's amazing. I, I realized in kind of putting this together that I had kind of been working toward this, um, you know, for the last 10 years, because I, I met so many of my friends on the student paper at my undergrad, and I, you know, went to grad school for journalism, and a lot of my friends are book people and literary people, so um, everyone, all of our staff right now is volunteer, um, and yeah, so Justin, for example, was the editor-in-chief of uh, our student newspaper when I was a sophomore uh he works in journalism and he's just doing this because he thinks it's cool so and every once in a while he'll like message me and be like can i play around on the website and he makes the website look really good and um yeah i'm really lucky to have a really good team it's so nice when you have people who are enthusiastic for the projects that you're putting forth right we yeah. need more disability themed um mm -hmm. places to showcase our work don't you find absolutely yes i think the more of us the better now there's something else with Knee Brace Press though. Like you, you, um, you do these, um, um, you're going to do almost like these kind of mini cons or mini. Yeah, uh, so we have our first ever summer series coming up uh, starting next month in June. Um, I don't know when this is coming out, but right now we're talking in May. So coming up in June. Right. And, um, the First one is going to be about queer characters with chronic conditions and Jameson Wolf, who's done a whole bunch of uh, Spoonie Authors Network things, uh, is speaking on that one. Um, the one in July is about mental health in horror novels. And then the third one in August is going to be about writing memoir and essays about chronic conditions. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for those. I think a lot of what I'm doing with Knee Brace is just kind of thinking, you know, well, what, what do I want? Like, what, what do I want to see? What do I want to do? And I would love more panels with, you know, folks who do this kind of work talking about, talking about their work. So, um, I'm hoping to do some in the future that I'm, I'm a writer and, you know, a lot of what I know is based in writing and I want to do some in the future based in photography or art or, you know, whatever. Um, as long as this is kind of the theme, um, chronic conditions, mental health, et cetera, um, that, you know, whatever creative work people have, I, I would love to showcase that. Well, I'm so glad that you're doing it, Nicole. Um, now, where could people get in contact with you through Knee Brace? Sure. Uh, so our, our uh, email is just kneebracepress at gmail.com. So you can shoot us an email there. And if you're looking to submit, there is... Um, on the magazine uh, page, there is a link to submit and we plaster that all over social media um, during the submission period. So you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It's just me, Race Press. Uh, so those are, those are some places you can find us and reach out. 
Okay, well, thank you so much. It was so great talking to you. And I hope you get lots of submissions and a thank lot of people you. attending your events. I know I'm going to show up for your event. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see you. I, I think people have been very excited about it so far. So that's that's exciting for me. Okay, and uh, this is my hot flash telling me that we got to go. <laughs> I'm good. Yes. Cheers. All right, bye. You can find more Spoonie content on our website, SpoonieAuthorsNetwork.com.